As the focus shifts to recovery, Oregon's congressional leaders are narrowing in on a large problem facing communities destroyed by this fire, and that's communication. Senators Ron Wyden and Jeff Merkley were in Eugene today to speak with residents who have been impacted by the Holiday Farm fire. And as KZI 9 News reporter Jacob Roberts shows us, one of residents' main concerns is being able to reach the outside world. It's a place you normally go when you want to disconnect. The quiet waters of the Mackenzie provide an escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. Here, poor cell phone service is seen as a blessing. But now, a lack of communication is proving not just inconvenient, but potentially dangerous in areas ravaged by fire. Communication was just something that kept coming back again and again and again. So much so, it's caught the attention of both of Oregon senators who say fixing the dead zone is now their number one priority. Folks were basically wiped out. You know, the towers were wiped out and basically they're using portable systems and the like. Communications here along the Mackenzie has always been difficult, but with a fire knocking out infrastructure, it means that residents who are now returning to their homes are left with no service and no 911. County officials say they're working with companies like Verizon, AT&T and T-Mobile to bring in temporary equipment to fill in the dead zone. And it's not just cell phones, cable, internet, and landlines are all dead and the areas hit the hardest. Companies like Charter and CenturyLink are now beginning damage assessments and planning to rebuild. Unfortunately, the Blue River Central Office that provides all the service uh, has been destroyed. We're committed to bringing the service back to you again as soon as we can. The county says first responder networks allowing firefighters, police, and others to communicate are largely still operational. Near Vida, Jacob Roberts, KEZI, 9 News.